below bro Welcome back to another episode of Below Pro. You are oh, Gwendolyn. You're so cute. Grandpa can't get past first base. Welcome back to Below Pro. <laughs> the grandpa's trying real hard. Oh, He's got a new adventure down that. his sleeve. Look at that face. Did you see that face? He's like, oh, I got the butterflies. <laughs> that's right. That was the, the victory. Oh, that's cool. So... That's uh, oh my goodness! These are oh, these references. tapestries are yeah, mm -hmm. they're the references to like the past games and like that one there is I think it's Graham's son. Oh yeah, and he he goes and kills a Minotaur among other things. Mm -hmm. Actually, he also um, the, his love interest he goes and retrieves her parents from hell. <laughs> oh, oh boy, look at Gwendolyn go! She's like I'm a rogue. She's like I'm a rogue. I'm gonna go have an adventure of my own. <laughs> Getting ready with the pillow. Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> did did any noise come out of his mouth? That's adorable. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh, nice Slade. headshot, Slade! Headshot. M -m 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 She's like, now I'm gonna kill. light him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, fatality. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. a dragon. <laughs> Oh, that would be, you know what, that would make for a good game. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, a child with the delusions of grandeur. That's right. I like Grandpa's stories. <laughs> he killed things, so I'm going to kill things too. Just like Grand Theft Auto influences kids. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I actually saw on the, the little news station in a Pizza Pizza that a of course. kid who had been playing Grand Theft Auto, now wanted to learn how to drive. <laughs> oh, I did hear about that, yeah. too. And, like, this made, like, news in Canada, <laughs> apparently, that, like, the police were concerned that GTA was the influence for a child to learn how to drive. Yes, how dare he want to drive. Yeah, I mean, like, you can drive well in GTA. <laughs> you can also fly a plane in gta i can't fly a plane <laughs> well i mean like you can get your passengers safely from point a to point b in the city like you could technically fly the airplane okay or you could crash it into the ground put some invincibility <laughs> cheats on and blow everyone down with machine guns because that's what everyone does in grand theft auto oh, fuck i find grand theft auto has its appeal for about five minutes you get to five stars, you see how long you can survive, and then you shut it off. I think uh, I think there was another episode I mentioned this on before, but uh, when when people go out to eat at food places, they always end up talking about other food places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is that's happening right now. <laughs> exactly, playing a video game, talking about another one. Just, oh, this charming, beautifully done game with great story. Grand Theft Auto, brap, brap, brap. Brap, brap, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool game, though, cool game. Um, the... Uh, but yeah, Pizza Pizza, um, <laughs> I told you guys I'd tell you my Pizza Pizza stories, uh, and I already told you one about uh, uh, Trump kids, but the it, Pizza Pizza was a trap for me in university uh, because it was there was one really close to our design studio in theater school, and we only had an hour of a break. Yeah, oh, yeah. And so and this class went from, what, a, it was a six-hour lecture lab class yeah it was a six hour studio class Yeah, six hour studio class and um like the only option that was the most convenient and well priced was two slices of pizza and a can on a bottle of coke it was like the the seven dollar and fifty cent combo and it was all i could get it was like in comparison like all the other university food is super expensive, and you don't get a drink with it. So. I'd also like to add we're not sponsored by pizza pizza that's right we're jason not. make a decision oh, whoa whoa uh <laughs> it, an act of kindness. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what did I do? He's like, when confronting your enemy who slew your entire family, how do you deal with him? An act of kindness. <laughs> oh, whoops. I fucked up. I'm just kidding. That's not what he was talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Um, but I want everyone to know that Pete's Pete's is great, but everything in moderation. <laughs> oh, but of course. Everything in moderation. <laughs> There's got to be, uh, you got to make sure that you don't have it every day. <gasps> You're young Graham now. Oh. And uh, actually, I with this game being based on like somebody telling you a story, that reminds me of uh, a time when I was in like grade two. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Um, what What is it? That is Triumph. 
That is Triumph. That is its name. Oh. Uh, 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 have fun uh, steering around. Uh, so, uh, anyway, in... Uh, this reminds me of Kung Pao. <laughs> <laughs> we finally I got, finally got Jason to watch Kung Pao. <laughs> oh, yes. We oh, wait, I'm actually supposed to move yeah, on this hill. Yeah, you're moving around. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, see, I finally got him to watch it the entire time. You know when you, like, show your friends, like, something on, like, YouTube <laughs> or something? Going. <laughs> Shield goal! <laughs> God damn it. When you show them something on YouTube and you're just like, ha 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 ha, oh please like it. <laughs> that was the entire movie, an hour of just being like, ha ha, funny, right, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Although I did catch that from you, that like, oh, please be impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah. I do like things of quality. <laughs> That's right. I swear I'm an art person. Uh, oh. Let's go to the way that they, I shouldn't go. Um. Oh, don't worry. It'll reward you with death. Wait, what's at the top of this? Um, that's where you came from. Oh no. Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Oh, um, I tried. For himself. We've been through our share of hmm. situations. He survives by well, munching survives, on eh? smaller rodents and sometimes yep. even bears. He raised into the wild. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, at least I. Uh, I had the opportunity to have that little cutscene by going backwards. Yeah, I hope it rewards me with death in the future. <laughs> All right, spin cape. All right, here we go. <laughs> so you're on your way to the Knights Parade. <laughs> you're wanting to consider yourself... The... One of them. Yeah. <laughs> this guy here is played by the guy who does the voice of Gaston. In That's Beauty pretty and hilarious. Look at them, eh? Mm, what a nice looking guy. I love their... Oh, wow. Big belly night. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Their caricatures are great. Yeah, and that is such a nice thing. Like, rather than just having, like, a fantasy world where everyone's like, yeah, we're buff. Exactly. It's, it's nice to have one where it's just like... And everybody's slightly weird. Yep, exactly. But any, anyway, going back to what I was going to say about, like, um, stories and being a grade two... Um, there was this one time <laughs> we were just, we had a substitute teacher in and, um, and that day we were just having a party mm -hmm. and, uh, the teacher was like, okay, sit down, everyone. We're going to, I'm going to tell you a story or, and she was going to read to us from a book. I think it was like the paper bag princess or something like that by Robert Munch. And, uh, <laughs> and so we're all just kind of hanging out. We're going to sit down here, listen to this story. And my one friend's just going crazy over the cheesies, the bowl of cheesies. Oh, so many. <laughs> Orange powder. It was great. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're all just kind of sitting there listening to this story. Right. And then there was one line in the book where she's just like, and the dragon blew its fire. And he just stood up and was just like, blah, and just <laughs> vomited cheesy everywhere. <laughs> we were just like, oh, he's... <laughs> Vomiting. <laughs> oh, he's a dragon. He's a dragon. <laughs> I also like. I imagine the cheese poop vomit would be so gross because it'd be dry, right? It wouldn't even be like liquid. It'd just be like a, a powder of orange guck. <laughs> disgusting. Oh, oh, it was so funny. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was. It was such a year of bullshit for me. Like there, there was another time. Uh, I sat at the back of the class in grade two, <laughs> mm -hmm. and. uh and next to me, um, one of my friends was in the desk beside me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, you lost some shit. I did lose the shit. <laughs> um, but you got to hatch it. That's right. Um, but, yeah, we were talking in the middle of the class, and we were like, it was supposed to be like a math class or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, and the teacher caught us, and she's just like, hey, Denny, excuse me. Um, you shouldn't be talking because I am the teacher. If do, do you want to teach the class? And it was just like, oh, fuck. Just like dead inside. And she's like, you know what? You come up here and you can teach the class. There's no reason to chop down a perfectly good tree. Good um, to know. There's, there are three reasons to chop down a perfectly good tree. One, pencils. Yeah. Two, Pinocchio. And three, being spiteful to squirrels that run out in the middle of the road. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Fucking squirrels. Anyway, uh, where was I at with that story? Um, uh, you were so, saying that they wanted uh, you yes, to be the teacher. Yeah, she, she's like, you can come up here and you can be the teacher. I'm like, oh, shit. 
So she's like, get up here. And uh, so I got up there and she sat in my, my really tiny desk <laughs> and, and I was just like up at the front of the class and I was just like, oh shit, what am I going to do? I look up at the board, look at the math equations on there. And I was like, I don't have the answers. Look at her. Look up at the board. <laughs> I grab the chalkboard eraser. And I just scrub everything off the board. And I'm like, okay, guys, we're going to play some Simon Says since I'm the teacher. <laughs> and I got away with that shit. We played Simon Says for the rest of that class. Oh, this is uh, uh, James Kenny? This is pretty the ridiculous. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, he, uh, the voice of SpongeBob. Oh, yeah. I, I hope I got his name right. I know his last name's Kenny. Mm-hmm. Where's that his first name? Ah, oh, shit. I'm a horrible fan You of are things. a terrible host, and you should not be on this show. I've got poison. Here, drink my feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, what ethnicity do you think it is? Hashtag racism. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, says to back away as a thief and then proceeds to take the thing away from me. It's ridiculous. Do you think that thing's filled with his hair or brain? Probably products to sell. <laughs> probably. Oh, you know what? Potions and things. That is that is really good thinking. Yeah, he probably just takes it off his head and throws it at people. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, you late piece of shit. That's right. Oh, he really should get longer pants. That's right. Could you repeat that? <laughs> uh, nah. Um, so, um, so I guess I'm actually helping so him then. There's there's one thing I want you to do while we're here. Can I use the hatchet on him? I you just got your ass tore apart. Um, well, I'm glad it, Go I back, go back. I didn't realize that. Like, I'm pretty impressed that this game, like, it has a voiceover for if I decide to use the hatchet. So yeah, they're they're really prepared for any option. So there is mm-hmm. one thing I want you to do here that will result in a death. Okay. Are you fine with that? I yeah. won't count it towards the counter. Well, it's gonna be towards the counter. Okay, fine. We'll put it towards the counter. I want you to go use the hatchet on the goat. On the goat? On the goat. On this one? Yeah. You'll have to do it a couple of times. Okay. They're unicorns. Yeah, unicorns. Oh, maybe you just gotta like look at the goat. There we go. Hey, hey, oh. stop it. Those unicorns may look cute and <laughs> They're ferocious <laughs> fighters. You do that one more time and I won't Oh <laughs> Mr. Fancy Cakes Fahima Temper. Oh. Fancy Should we cakes, do it, guys? Fancy Cakes got a temper, man. Oh. Ye- <laughs> 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 That's pretty funny. <laughs> How did escape taste? <laughs> it tastes like swirly and useful. Yeah, it tastes like a resourceful thing. <laughs> we, oh, we got an achievement for that. that? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's funny. Oh my! I j- <laughs> I knew that happened. I was just like, yeah, yeah. You gotta see this, Jason. That's pretty silly. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, now you just gotta. Find- well, we know where the wheel is, right? It was farther back. Um, well. Well, this one was broken, though, right? Yeah. The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another, another solution. The wheel was very oh, okay, I didn't so want to watch this a second time. <laughs> Super game. Solution. Feels like Kung Pao. That's right. <laughs> oh. Well, the... Okay, I'm going to hmm. save you some time. You're going the wrong way. Okay. You have to advance forwards? Yeah, yeah. You're going to want to go forward. All right. Said a disembodied voice to help me from the game. Uh, DM. That's right. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, Danny. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What is it, Jason? Oh, look, it's a little note. <laughs> it's <laughs> a little note that I found on the ground. Oh, I know. I know. A is note. It? What does it say? It says, you are going the wrong way. What? Oh, my God. How does it know where I'm going? I don't know. Should should I listen to it? 
How do I get across the river? Well, now I'll cut down a perfectly good tree. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. It's making me actually cut the tree down. But of course... There you got. Go. You got to feel. You got to feel the the consequences of doing your own actions, Jason. That's right. <laughs> ah. Oh, go oh. on a limb to get to the root oh. of the problem. Oh. Grandpa, you're infamous. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. That's you don't funny. like the timber of my voice. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's uh, funny. Now, Jason, I'm yay? glad that they uh, they incorporate the bad dad jokes. <laughs> Are you yay or nay towards puns? Uh, I'm yay. I yeah. am yay towards puns. Yeah. Who doesn't like a good pun? Not a kitty, not a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wait, uh, can I use the hatchet? <laughs> <laughs> can I use the hatchet? Oh, I mean, here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Skin that growling animal. Growling? <laughs> it, I'm sorry, guys. That animal was growling. Um, oh. I'm going to find out if this one is too. Oh. No wheels in there. <laughs> okay, so... um, We're getting towards the end of the episode here, so perhaps next time on Below Pole, we'll find some wheels. And what's that in the distance? Oh, it's a well. Oh, it's a well. It's probably... Uh, some spikies here. Chop down those thorn reeds, but my tiny hmm. was you need a bigger, sharper blade. You need a bigger, sharper. badder wolf. That's right. <laughs> An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn, thorn weeds. Oh, hmm. spiniferous. They that is spiniferous. Well, that is a nice wood. Perhaps. Oh, the stories are intertwined. All right. So next time on Below Pro, we're going to get out of a spooky forest. We're going to get a wheel. And we're going to find some dates. Find some dates. At the grocery store, because that's where you can find things. Cape spinning, yeah. 